Jesse Trail chose to do etchings rather than to do paintings or to do what they considered the modern techniques of woodcuts and lino cuts. It was more arts and crafts, it was more uh, this wonderful sepia coloured ink, it was more influenced by Art Nouveau, it was always monotone uh, and it didn't make it as attractive to a lot of people. But in saying that, there was a whole group of people who loved etchings in the 1900s to the, about the 1930s. Jessie Trail had two major subjects in her life, the industry and also the landscape. The landscape for her was something she lived in. She lived in Berwick, just outside of Melbourne, next door to Arthur Boyd's property, in fact. She was an early conservationist and she loved to the pristine nature of the landscape but she was also a practical sort of person who understood the need for destruction uh, to make progress happen. This comes out in her, her prints of the Sydney Harbour Bridge and things like this. She loved those structures. Uh, the way she drew them was obvious that she had a, a real interest in the way uh, things were being built, constructed, uh, and she had a, a great fluency in the way she could draw them. People in, who were talking about her work always talk about how she really understood how that bridge was being made, why that beam was going there, how many rivets were going into it, and all those sort of things. Uh, but equally, they looked at the landscapes and they could see there her great love and involvement in the landscape. I think she speaks very eloquently to people today. I think there's a whole new interest in the, the physicality of objects people actually want to see how something's produced, they want to understand how it's produced, but there is an increasing interest in actually getting into that nitty-gritty, those uh, hands-on things, that processes like etchings, which do require uh, specialist workshops, uh, and they, are, they can be dangerous uh, things to do as well. Things like etching, you really need the workshop set up where you could deal with those acids, and presses, you know, not everybody had a press. They're big, bulky, and it's, it's, it's hard work. And this was considered, you know, man's work. It wasn't considered women's work. These etchings that she produces are not just simple etchings. They're very, very complex. The way she inked them up, and then she would take little bits of ink off to give highlights. The, the way she used aquatint, another tonal process, is very, very sophisticated. This is, this is not the work of somebody who just did one or two etchings. This is a person who did maybe 250 etchings over 50 years and really completely on top of her craft. She knows exactly how to produce those effects she wants. <laughs>